Slime is getting a movie rerun season four. Hopefully they do a rerun. They won't. They won't, Sora. I'm sorry. They're not doing reruns. I, 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 I can't say they won't. I can't say they're not. Everybody is excited about um, about season four. There's also uh, there's also people who are excited about uh, about this, right? You guys saw this, I'm... right? Did you, you see this, Biako? The yeah. Es the... Espa has a new Espa? album coming out. Yeah. Everybody was it's like, not. oh, well, sh yeah, they're like, it's a new album with a new eye look. I'm like, this isn't an anime eye look. This is a, yeah. you know, chrome Espa look. And uh, it's their live tour. And so people, a lot of people are hyped thinking this means we're going to get an Espa rerun to promote this tour. I still don't think that's going to happen. I don't think it's possible with uh, Espa not using their anime looks anymore. Eesh. But yeah, we got a rerun of Slime happening too. I don't know, guys. I'll tell you what I think. I think I think nowhere in Orbis looks like this. Uh, Secrets World. Like you think Orbis this looks like Zero Defect City? Uh, it looks like defects. I don't know, about dude. The there's, city a, there's a there's a <laughs> vent, there's a vending machine over here, man. <laughs> this this is this is straight out of the nineties. Yeah, this is, this is like Street yeah, Fighter, like, maybe Yakuza. I this is a this yeah, is, true. And and last time the uh the RTA background hinted at Luna, right? The spear, the yeah, moon, yeah. the new moon, yep. Luna. Uh, it makes me wonder if uh this is maybe a hint too. Maybe this is a hint that we're getting a collaboration that ties in with this look. Get the hat, or maybe they'll just introduce a new unit for the season. Tell me this isn't collaboration bait right here. Tell me, tell me this doesn't mean we're getting a Yakuza or Street Fighter collaboration. Something that ties into this background, because this background doesn't exist in Orbis. No, nowhere in Orbis looks like this. Nowhere in the ML Theater looks like this. Not Zero Defect City. Not, not the you know worst back alleys of Kyrubran. Not anywhere in Terranor. This, this is. Why would they do this? Why would they come up with a background that looks so different than anything that's currently in game, unless? Something's coming to the game that looks like this background, eh? Oh, so, so I'm telling you, note, I'm telling you, I, th I think this to, is happening. To note, like the the writing looks, like, mm -hmm. it looks Asian. Like the setting is definitely something from Yakuza. You're right. And the vending machine stuff. That, yeah, I think you may be onto something. Like you, you I'm probably can, you, man. can remove. Yeah, you can remove the the, the hat, dude. I, I, think, I think this is prime tinfoil hat realm right here, guys. So uh, who knows if it's going to happen in a few weeks or who knows if it's going to happen in a few months because this RTA season is going to last for three months. But I think this is a pretty good sign that sometime in the next four to eight weeks, we're going to get a collaboration that ties into this background art. So uh, let me know. Am I, uh, am I on to something? Or am I huffing some of that premium grade copium? You told me it's Mortal Kombat. I don't know. I don't. I don't trust coincidences, right? Coincidences happen, right? They happen all the damn time. But I never trust one. And this, this feels like too much of a coincidence to me. Top model Lulica universe. <laughs> Smogate's keenly aware of people's problem with not having collab units that that have come and aren't coming back. The the lack of Karena, the lack of uh, the FMA units, the lack of slime, the lack of rocket punch. They're very aware of it. And investing money in making your own IP units that do the same thing as the uh, as the collab units. That's investing a lot of time, money, and development in making a brand new unit that not everyone's going to pull because yep. the majority of the player base has those units. So that's a tricky rock and a hard place for them, right? How, how do they do that and, and you know pay the bills? 
You really want to make a banner that's only applicable to a certain number of people. Now, the artifacts are a lot easier. Artifacts don't have animation, and they've done it before. We've had artifacts that, uh, that straight up replace existing artifacts, right? Um, yeah. I mean, read the description of Portrait for Saviors. 20% increase doesn't work when 50% more are health. And with this limited artifact. Problems. And then we have Prelude, which is 20% damage increase doesn't work when health is below 50%. And it was a free artifact. So they've, they've made artifacts that do the exact same thing as co limited collab artifacts. They've experimented with it. So I think they could very easily, like the number one ask is, uh, is Rocket Punch. And they could easily make, I don't know, Missile Fist and have it have the exact same description but not have Karina's art all over it and solve the problem of people not having a second Rocket Punch, right? And yeah. this, I think, would be an easier insertion that, you know, and, and they could either give it away for free or they could find a way to add it to a new limited units banner, right? You know, put the put 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 missile fist on the new flan units banner, right? Although they would probably want to do something that ties into flan, so even that is a little bit tricky. But there's a lot of collaboration units that have artifacts out there that may or may not come back. We don't know. And I got to admit, as much as I feel for the people that are missing out on collaboration units and collaboration artifacts. I would rather they never rerun a collab again than inundate us with collaborations that are boring for the majority of the player base because we've seen it already. Yeah. If they if they reran every single collab, there would be a collab every single month, and it would be impossible to do something new. And collabs are hard to set up. I would rather them come up with answers for us, duplicate artifacts, and if they want to rerun a collab again, it shouldn't be a rerun. It should be part of a new collab, right? Like, if Overlord comes out, give us Kokaitis and a new story. Yes, and then sir, on yes, the, sir, please. And then on the, yeah, and then on the side, they can rerun the old banner on the side so people can still get the old stuff, but it's a new collaboration just with the same IP. They did this with Guilty Gear every single time. Every single time there's a Guilty Gear rerun, it was dog-eared into a new Guilty Gear collab. You know, this time we get uh l felt this time we get jacko and they add, they changed the story while they ran stuff only last year do we have a true rerun of guilty gear and i think that was just to get those units into the china server but uh yeah they're aware of it and they're trying to find ways to address it lord demiers and let him transform from his rage oh another uh tamarind style unit i'd be about it I think they didn't get Ino done in time. There was assets for her. I don't think... <sighs> a lot of IPs are protective about their units, and the IP might have said, if you're going to put Ino in, we want her to do this. And Smoggate's like, that would break our game. And they said, I, we don't care. That's how we want her. I'm like, okay, I guess we don't do that one. You never really know what discussion happens across the table. But a lot of it is, uh, you know, we don't want our IP depicted in that way. Redo your story. I still think that was a big chunk of what happened with ReZero, but that's yeah. just a theory. We're all confused about that, to be honest, for the most part. Something happened with that. Yeah. Right? Something, something, something behind the no. scenes happened that made them scrap everything and start from scratch. Either the IP rejected what Smilegate put together, or there was a uh, insistence on more money being used, or they said, hey, we said you could only use these units in the IP and you put Subaru in there and we didn't give you permission to use him. And they said, but he's just in the story. And they said, well, that's still you monetizing our IP. So they had to like redo everything to take him out of, I, I don't know, something happened that made them have to redo all that. Fate collab is coming, sure of that. Fate is collaborating with Genshin or Star Rail? Some Mahoyo game, or was it Honkai? Anyway, and that collab's not coming for a long ass time. HSR, mm -hmm. yeah, and that collab that collab's like months and months away, right? And uh, it's very, very unusual. In fact, I've never seen it where a game collabs with two different IPs at once, right? You never see ReZero collab with us and with Nikkei. That's why when we all thought we were getting a ReZero collab and they went with Nikkei, we all kind of went, well, I guess no ReZero collab this year because there's usually a non-comp 
part of collab agreements where they talk about, um, you know, they talk about like for this period of time, we're going to market your IP and you're not going to water it down by working with our competition. And you may not consider Star Rail competition for Epic 7, but it is. It's a mobile gotcha game. It is exactly competition. Uh, so, and you may not consider Nikkei competition, but it is. They are not going to overlap with other, especially top 20 chart mobile gotcha games. Because that's just going to pull players away from them. You would empty your wallet for Bleach. There's a lot of really good collabs out there. But remember guys, it takes a lot to put a collab together. Negotiations start, things look like they're going the right way, and then things happen. The collab decides to go with another IP. The timing doesn't work out. Uh, they decide they don't like the look of each other. They can't reach an agreement on money. And things things get started and then they fall. Or they reach out and they say, hey, would you like to collab with us? And they say, nah fam, we're good. We're already in negotiations with another IP, but we appreciate you asking. That's gotta happen a lot, right? How many times do you think how many times do you think as an IP, Epic 7 reaches out and says, hey, hey, ReZero, you want to collab with us again? And they're like, we can't discuss it, but we are already committed in another direction. And then they collab with Nikkei. That's got to happen a lot. So yeah. I can't comment on when collabs are coming, if collabs are coming, what collabs are coming. Legitimately, sometimes I get some insider information, but on collabs, we never get insider information. Any content creator like drops hints and wears a tinfoil hat and tells you what's coming next, it's a guess. Because collaboration agreements always involve a massive NDA clause. And leaking that stuff can straight up cost Smilegate money and can even threaten the whole collab in general and make it harder to get other collabs because other collabs will hear about it and say, yeah. Yeah. we'd like to collab with you, but it appears you can't keep your mouth shut, so we're not going to collab <laughs> with you. That really worried me with the Overlord leaks, right? I was really worried about that initially, that it would cause those yeah, issues. That was, but... that was a nightmare, man. Right. So, yeah, um, we don't know. And though they will share proprietary stuff with us, it is never about collabs. We're just as surprised as you are when the things come out. But I can tell you from conversations with, him, with Epic 7, directly speaking with them, they are always trying to land collabs. They are constantly on the lookout. They're constantly trying to set things up and make things happen so they can bring something fun to the game. And uh, when it works out, we get the collab. When it doesn't work out, they move on to the next one. And if anybody who's ever been in sales, anybody who's ever been in sales knows, landing something is the exception, not the norm. So it's not just as simple as walking up and saying, "Hey, uh, Jujutsu Kaisen." Here's $10,000. Let us use your IP in a collab. And they're like, sure, fam, here you go. It's got to be right for both parties. It's got to be mutually beneficial. There's got to be reasons they want to collab with us and reasons we want to collab with them. I do think Smilegate is more picky with their collabs than a lot of uh, a lot of games are. You don't see them just like doing waster BS collabs that nobody wants. They want to make sure it is the right fit for their game. Thank God no Hello Kitty collabs or SpongeBob collabs, no matter how well those were voted on in China, doesn't really work in our game. So then what the hell was Espa? Espa was a K-pop band that was insanely popular in Korea where this game is um, located. In Asia, uh, in Asian countries, K-pop is a huge deal. It doesn't make it didn't make sense to us that much in global. But they were, other than Blackpink, aren't they the largest K-pop band? Like, fan base volume and sales? I wouldn't know much. It made, it made a lot of yeah. sense. And Espa invested a ton in that collab, too. They they freaking advertised on, on, on billboards and electronic signs in New York. I think they were on the Times Square Jumbotron with an advertisement for Epic Freaking 7. It was one of the first times Smoggy stepped up the advertising. Now, I don't think it worked out well for them. I don't think that collab covered costs maybe i don't know it number wise sensor tower wise it didn't look like normal collabs look but um any of you ever play final fantasy brave exvius um there they collaborated with ariana grande yeah. ariana grande they've collaborated with tons of different games do you, uh, do you want to take a guess at what their largest collaboration was for income 
and new players and player retention. What their number one collaboration was, not by a small margin, by a massive margin. Please do tell us. It was Ariana Grande. Oh, God. Now, Ariana Grande is more of a global sensation as opposed to a regional mm. sensation like K-pop is, but how? People kind of obsess over their idols, and when their idols say, hey, we're playing this kick-ass new game, you should play it with me. I'm like, well, shit, yeah. Shit. Play this with Ariana. Maybe I'll meet her in the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. so I, I think it made sense. And when it happened, I, I was like, who the fuck is Espa? I, I, I had to look it up, too. Yeah. And, um, yeah, they were pretty good. I listened to some of their music. I'm not super into K-pop, but I can see why people like it. And the collab was actually well done. I think it was a little long. I think they drew it out over too long of a period of time, but the story was really good, and the units are pretty pog. I think it was a well done collaboration. Um, Where is my Black Mamba Belion skin, man? <laughs> right? I would have preferred an anime collab. I think most of us would have, but it drew in a lot of people, and it got a lot of attention for Epic 7 outside of their normal target audience. And the thing I like most about the Espa collab is that the first time we saw Smogate truly, um, truly actually advertise and market themselves, and that's always been a weak spot. But yeah, um, just because it didn't do as well as we thought doesn't mean it was a, it wasn't a smart collab. And Smogate has said several times they always try to do three variations of collabs, right? They 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 try to collab with animes they try to collab with games and then they try to collab with socially relevant ips like espa uh like kazuna ai and then with other games and with other animes so animes like re-zero games like full metal alchemist who i know is an anime but the whole reason that collab happened is because fma put out a mobile gotcha game at the same time but anyway just want to drive home the point that it's not simple. It's a very complicated process that they put a lot of effort in to make sure that one, they secure a good collab that's a good match for the game, and two, that it's a collab that they think will not only entertain and please the existing players, but bring in new players because that is the primary money maker for collabs is new players. Bringing new players in, new players who want to spend on their IP and be a part of it. Sure, us pulling on the banners, that's big money too, but that's nothing compared to the influx of new players and new spenders. But didn't FMA gotcha game hit EOS? Yeah. Yeah, it did not succeed, and that's why we suspect we'll never see FMA rerun. Because what's FMA's motivation? You think they're going to try to revive the game? FMA making any new, uh, new animes anytime soon? Nope. Yeah. As much as I'd like to see an FMA rerun, as much as I'd like to see a, uh, um, see Alphonse as a pullable unit and maybe a, a Chimera as a pet. <laughs> oh, God, no. No, no, oh, I <laughs> Sitting on the chair going, Please, Edward. No, <laughs> no, nah. Oh, too soon. No. It's been years and it's still too soon. Much as uh, I'd like to see that, I don't think it's going to happen. Chimera pet is cursed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god um but yeah i just don't think that's gonna happen um re-zero's new season i don't know how long the non-comp was with nikkei or whether or not they've just uh, decided to hitch their wagon to the nikkei cart instead of ours i don't know uh i mean the re-zero was rocky enough it doesn't surprise me uh, Slime has a new season. The new season's not doing super great. So I don't know. That one's got pretty good potential for rerun. Um, Overlord's got new movie coming out, right? New movie, new season, something like that. So there's potential for that one, but it would be very unusual to do a collab and then the next collab is the same collab, the same IP. But I think there's potential for more Overlord coming our way. Season 4 and 2 movies on Slime. Yeah, there's potential for more Slime. Bleach in a week? Maybe we're getting a Bleach collab. Maybe they're talking about that. I, I, There's no clues or hints in game, though, but... 
yeah. Don't One lose note. hope. Don't lose hope, and definitely always let Smilegate know. Whenever there's a chance, let them know what collaborations you would like. They do look at the most popular collabs. Duke Josh did a survey asking for the most wanted collab, and do you know what the number one choice when he ran that survey in early 2023, what the number Overlord. one choice was? Overlord. It was Overlord for singular yeah. collab. Now, fate people did put fate as, as higher, but they rolled all of the fate votes into just a f overall fate column. Mm -hmm. Right? Everybody that said fate stay night, everybody said fate game, everybody said fate anime this, fate anime that. That all got rolled together, so fate did have more votes, but for just a singular anime IP, it was Overlord by a mile. And it was, it was the IP good. that they went for, right? And so it's it's, yeah. it's clear it, that they listen to the community's wants and asks that 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 those are the people they reach out to. Because remember, they want to pick a collab that works for the community as well as the game, as well as potentially brings in a new audience. Anyway, that's my take on collabs.